All right, so in these videos, we're going to be looking at graph theory. And we're going to start with a problem that I love, which is how do you draw a shape with a single line? So that's our goal, to draw a shape with a single line. So, so for example, let's say I want to draw a square. Start here, or a rectangle. Go this way. Right, I've only got one line. I haven't had to lift my pen or pencil up yet. Come back this way, back over, and I've done it. Now what happens if I add this line right here? Can I, can I still accomplish, uh, can I still draw this shape without having to cross a line more than once? Okay, well maybe I can go this way. Down, over, back up. Right, I'm just touching the lines there. I'm not drawing back over it or crossing it. Going this way and then back down. And I've done it. And a fun puzzle to look at is how do you draw this shape without crossing a line? How do you draw this without doubling back anywhere? And so how do you do it without lifting your pen or pencil? How do you draw with a single line? So take a minute to look at it. And what I'm going to do is solve it. You might want to pause this and, and give it uh, a shot yourself. Uh, but, but one thing you want to realize right away, and don't listen to this if you want to solve it, pause it. But if, if you're ready to hear and think of, and talk about it, uh, we, we want to realize that we have to start either at this point down here or this one over here. And there's something unique about them. Both of them only have one, two, three, and one, two, three bridges. No or, or lines, I should say, sorry. No other, other point of intersection here, right here or here, has an odd number of lines going to it. And that means something very significant, which we'll think about in future videos. Uh, but to solve this problem, I'll start at this location right here. You don't have to. I'm gonna go up, and I've drawn this line. I'm gonna come up here, go this way, right back here. Now, when I come down this way, I mean, it depends on your perspective of the problem. I'm going to say that I don't want to keep going this way. Because what happens if I do that? Well, if I draw a line here, imagine that this whole line is blocking this line from being drawn. Because then they would cross each other. You'd have to draw over a line you've already drew. I don't want to do that. Um, in, in other ways, you can say, oh, well, they're just crossing at one point, so it's okay. But we'll stick to the original tenant, which is to draw this with a single line. So I'm going to come down this way. Now over. Right? I haven't crossed the line more than once, or drawn any lines more than once. Back up, up here, back down. So that's one way to draw it. There are many ways. If, if, if this problem is confusing, if you're not sure what I mean by crossing a line, another way to take this into perspective, and depending how you draw this, this could mean different things, but here if I draw an island, an island, an island, an island, and an island. Well, and an island here. How do you get to all these islands? How do you walk across, let's say, all these pink lines or the bridges? How do you walk from one island to all the others without crossing a bridge more than once? How can you do it? Well, isn't that what we just did? We started here, right, bottom left go up to this island, cross that bridge. I think we went this way, up here, back down to this island. And now we have these bridges to play with. And we can go this way, right? And we've crossed all the bridges once and visited all the islands. Uh, another way of solving it, and this is depending on your perspective of the problem, just draw that real quick, set up our islands. Now if I start here, I can go this way, okay, up here, going different order, doesn't really matter. But now when I come down here, I can keep going across because I'm just using those bridges once each. And now I'm free to go back over to this island, back this way, up here, and back down. So in the context of, of the problem, I guess it's okay to say that if you draw two lines and they do cross each other, but only at one point, so they intersect somewhere. And that's, that's in this problem. In, in graph theory, when you're looking at the idea of drawing shapes with a single line, you'll see that the context matters a lot. And that's really exciting, because when the situation matters, like 
uh, what kind of a shape are you drawing? What's it for? Is it a, a trucking route? Is it a, a mail route? Is it a pattern that a machine's cutting? Uh, what is it? Because the, because that context matters, it tells me that graph theory has a lot of great application, and it does. And with very little arithmetic and a lot of intuition, we can get really far. So in the next video, we'll actually start looking at a classic problem, and then uh, following that, we'll get what is graphs, and from there on, we'll go to, to all kinds of proofs and fun problems in graph theory. So I hope you enjoy.